we have no microphone. Now we do. Welcome, everyone. Hello. Acronymous. That's a great name. Hello, cat. It has been a week. One of my good friends and one of the two people who stood up at my wedding on my side. The person who set off the long string, well, was deeply tied to a long string of events which led me to leaving my country and mirroring far better than I deserve. Passed away last week. I only found out on the day after my last stream. They're weighing pretty heavily on me. I wouldn't know. In fact, I wouldn't even know Cat if it wasn't for this person. Now, I mean, everybody knows people and are friends with people and may also have family that you know are going to meet, are coming to a bad at an early end. He was one of those people. Although I expected, I expected that we'd have another decade because his poison of choice was long acting. But yeah, it's been really hard. But I will get myself in order here. In this game, we, the entire game had been building up to the moment we saw last game of the tribunal, so to speak. And it all culminated, and my detective survived along with his wonderful boyfriend, the best boyfriend. Nope, I don't need time. I need to stream. Salmon. Shark's got to swim. I got to keep moving. Always got to keep moving. That's the way things are with me. I stop moving. That's when I ruminate. And I process deeply and in parallel. So I don't need to stop to consider things. Things are already considered. Keep moving, keep moving the feet. Write the, write the speech you need to give. Give the speech. One of those things, one of those things I realized about a decade back when I started losing some long time friends of mine. Sometimes you have to look at relationships and how you see people and how you deal with people. You need to look at that, that and turn down your microphone because it's way too hot. But you need to look at those, those relationships and those people and realize something that Am I going to be making new memories with this person? Am I going to be making new cherished memories with this person? Or are the memories and the best moments have they already passed? Brutal, 
but sometimes you have to look at it that way. I don't have an opportunity to make new memories with my good friend Gath, as he was known at points. And even if he was here, I wouldn't have the opportunity to. Path split a long time ago. <laughs> Still miss him, though. Let's get to it. Poor Harry's been shot through the leg. And Kim has a concussion. Wow, it's snowy. Not sure why I'm back. Ah, put myself back into my normal, my normal uh, configuration here. Go back with my logic hat. Where is that ridiculous cap? Here we go. My jacket of uh, visual calculus esprit de corps. My shirt will be the armor. I don't like that shirt. The pants will be switched out for the pants that don't suck, which I don't really have. All I have is pants of suck. Eh, I guess I could take some composure. Put on our, put on our visual calculus glasses, I think. Next good, shoes need to be switched to my Franco-Nigerian ones, I think. I'll have to figure it out, hand. Just do a little bit of math here. Do a little bit of, yeah, just got to do some calculations, you know, stuff, figure out what I'm really supposed to be doing here. That's, ex, ex, feed yourself, cat. That's important. Yeah, just got to figure this out. A lot of boring math later. Uh. Not these boots, those are authority boots. Those are people respect me, god damn it, root boots. It's not what I need. I only have that many types of boots. Okay, well, whatever. Let's talk with Kim real quick. Okay, nothing. He has nothing to say to me. Surprised I can still run. The fan stands still. The fan stands. The on the fan. Broken. The lights are off again. The lights are. I mean, he cleaned up the room, but this couch is still wrecked. Let's see what Kim's written in the meantime. I am sure neither of us feels solid enough to keep loitering in this room. Let's go. I am sure neither. Oh, you're not going to let me look at your sh deepest thoughts. Yeah, fashion has always failed me. A great many things have failed Mr. Dubois. You know. One debt to society later. As you know, let's go talk to Gart. Oh, you're up. It's good to see you back on your feet. Did you like your room? I cleaned it for you. I did. Thank you. Big improvement. You're welcome. 
I thought it would be nice for you to wake up in a clean place after you, let's be fair, defended this establishment and its clientele from gunfire. I give credit where credit is due, and that, sir, was a nice shot. I was watching until you hit him. Crawled inside, then. Bullets started flying. Anyway. <laughs> I yeah. Quick recovery. Also, you and your partner are staying here free now. This establishment supports cops. The stay is free, the drinks are not. It just felt I needed to specify that. Where did everyone go? Oh, you know, people don't tend to stick around after shootouts. Turns out they're not good for business. How about the man in the sunglasses? I don't remember everyone who comes here. And many people wear sunglasses inside lately. Must be a fad. By the way, where were you when it happened? Where was I? How do you think I know the crazy shit you pulled off out there? I was there, out on the balcony. Protecting my establishment. A protect how Ouchie? Sorry, Hotspot. That's actually true. You remember him from the corner of your eye, right behind you on the whirling balcony. So yeah, I guess I'm what you call a badass. It's not stoically. He nods back at you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just two badass men. Nodding stoically, make that three. The lieutenant is nodding too, hands crossed. All right, all right, no problem. They'll come back, they always do. Goodbye. Is the cook even in? Hi again, gendarme. Bye bye, gendarme. I have to wear shrink when it's this one. Oh, I'm too loud? Okay, hang on. Let me bring down my volume a bit. Actually, let me bring down my volume this way. Okay, check, 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 check. That's probably a, oh, that's probably not good enough. Let me uh, adjust some more things. Okay. How is that? Is that better? I'm so sorry I'm so too loud. Seeing you approach, the bruised man raises his bear in welcome. Rude. Crazy motherfucker. <whistles> Didn't think you had that fury in you, but I guess I've misjudged a lot of people lately. That was one hell of a shot. Hell of a shot. The fucks did not expect that. Looks like it was unmistakable respect. I guess what I'm trying to say here is... Thank you for intervening, fellas. That was mighty brave of you. Uh, okay. Well, I will keep... I will keep the musical hits down. This is big. It's as big of a thank you as Titus Hardy can muster under any circumstances. Biggest. Don't need to thank me. Biggest had not. Now, how can I help you? This grip is strong. Sorry about the people you Theo was old. I think he'd be pretty happy with the way he went. Never could imagine him withering away on a sickbed. But Angus... He was just a stupid kid. Didn't realize the mess he'd gotten into. Trusted me. Still, the balls on that kid went down fighting for someone else's shit like a fat, angry bear. And Glenn, Glenn was my friend, best I've ever had. I love that crazy homo like my own brother. We're all fucked without him, but what do you do? This job is shit. Hold on, where's that shanky help? Dennis, that poor little rat is dead too. I always thought he'd run, but no, he stayed. Stupid, brave fella. They were good people. Sorry it went like that. Well, yeah. Memento Mori. Right. Memento Mori, or Remember That You Must Die, 
is a slogan various religious orders have thrown around since the dawn of mankind to emphasize the vanity of earthly life and the transient nature of all earthly pursuits. In essence, it means one should live virtuously in this life to live better in the afterlife. Kind of. I mean, the religion in this world obviously throws it around, but what does that mean? It means you might die tomorrow, so live every day like it's your last. That's the Ain't other way. That's right. right, fellas. <sighs> okay, let's bring it back up here. Absolutely. Today, I'm going to get drunk, eat good food, and bet a good looking guy. Because tomorrow, a motor carriage might run me over. Or you might die of a heart failure or syphilis. Hey, hey, fuck you for ruining a beautiful idea. What's going to happen to the Hardy Boys now? I guess I'll take a closer look at our union members. There's bound to be some ambitious fellows there who'd love nothing more than advancing social democracy by busting some heads. Might even ask Tibbs if he's tired of replacing windows and maybe wants to have some fun with his brother. Anyway, don't you worry. As long as Titus Hardy's standing, there will be Hardy Boys. He's right. The numbers are replaceable. In an organization of thousands of men, there are plenty who join. You know what happened to Classier? Don't know. Don't care. I'll be glad if I never see that fucking woman again. Hey, it's after all we've done to this level. You really liked her, didn't you? Nope. He did. Okay, got it. He nods and takes another sip of whiskey. Can't even admit it, Max. Can't even admit it. Any idea what I should do now? Judging by the sight of you, I'd suggest crawling into bed with a bottle of whiskey in one hand and a big tit in the other. <laughs> Go pay Monica a visit in Jandrock. She's got a knack for making men forget about their worries. Biggest pair of milkers in all Rebacho. <laughs> Gross. Now, you both look like you could use some feminine company right now. We got our own company. Thank you for your advice, Eugene, and you too, Alain. I do always appreciate a good use of the expression milkers. <laughs> call them milkers. I love tits, but fat. Don't call them that. You're welcome, Bina Clard. You're all right in my book. Ah, so long, fellows. Be good so I don't have to come back here again. Take care, coppers. You two look after yourselves now. Death passed on you today, but men don't get that lucky twice. Copo loco. And the... Uh, ha. Huh. Normal cop, I guess. Good luck in Shamrock. Scars made the best tattoos, they say. Thanks for getting involved, guys. Not a lot of cops would step into that line of fire. But you did. And if you ever feel like the uniform is holding you back, I've got a few vacancies. You'd make one hard, hardy boy, copper. And Titus Hardy himself would make a good officer. That man was born to lead. The RCM could really use a man like you, Titus. Could really use someone with some better motivation. Think about it. I will, Capo. That's a promise. Now scoot, because the Hardy boys got some morning and drinking to do. Take it easy on the drink. The danger has not passed. This town needs you on your feet. Good point, Bino Clard. We'll keep the vol under 12% tonight. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, yeah, so sorry about the loudness of that hit. Okay. Bonjour, this de... What? Ah. Excuse me for a moment here. Were you sitting there the whole time? They were blasting at each other. One. Ah, T O I, the two. Weird 
remember something? One day I'll return to your side? The graffito has been painted over the traces of the fight that took place here. It smells of blood and heavy fuel oil. This was Cindy the Skull. Just like City the Skull finally found the words for her masterpiece. The lieutenant crouches, touching the fuel oil with his finger. Looks like it, yes. This is still fresh. It wasn't here yesterday. I smell heavy fuel oil. And blood. Some of it is even yours. Heavy fuel oil. Isn't that flammable? Step back, Lieutenant. Like the graffito was a lipstick. The fuel oil catches fire immediately with an ominous hiss. A bright orange flash across the surface of the letters. Black smoke rises from the burning message. Say nothing. The Lieutenant has taken a small step back. He looks at your face illuminated by the flames and nods silently. Then the fire falters. Let's go to that island. Slowly, the flames subside, the fuel burning out. The air still smells of mazout and springtime. Mazout. Mon Dieu, you set it on fire. What kind of a policeman are you? Policeman of a state has to come. Oh, okay. Well, I certainly have full confidence in your competence. And the future. Five minutes. Were you guys watching when all this went down? My man, you're alive. Almost. Kind of. Sort of alive? Hurts like hell, man. Man, what a day. I missed out on most of the action, but I heard it was quite the encounter. Had a strong sense of finality to it. I glad you like that. So what's next? You guys heading back to Jamrock now? Talk is local union muscle were behind it all. I'd reckon the case is closed, even if it kind of turned into a shit show. Still looking around. Loose threads. Good luck with that, my man. Ain't easy being you. But hey, you're still breathing, right? Met the lady driver. Called Ruby. Okay. Is it wise to share information about the case like this, sire? Well done. The lieutenant throws you a quick glance. What are you doing? Let her go. She didn't do anything. Oof. Good on her. And good on you, too, my man. That's merciful. Downright merciful. You cops keep exercising that muscle, and people will be more willing to cooperate, you know. All right. That's enough sharing details about the investigation for one day. Okay. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta spill a little bit. Yeah. Spill a little bit of the wine to get everybody talking. time they were right here they were right here Man. the boy Adero stares at you with respect then gestures towards the trickles of blood adorning your clothes Man, I got shot yet you live it calls back to an older era where this was commonplace you have a true boyadero heart. Nice. Where is everyone? Hiding, gathering themselves. The harbor's in full lockdown, friend. No getting in or out for the time being. What's gonna happen next? Time will tell. I'll tell Evrak you drop by. I'm sure he'll be glad. What will you be doing now? I'll be okay here, doing lookout. Quite the sight, aren't they? Getting to like that red I am. Don't worry about me. I live to alleviate the worries of our brothers. See if any insane killers turn up. Then I'll run. And live. 
I'm sure you'll do good. You know it, friend. I don't remember if all these banners were. I'm pretty sure they were. Even uh, Measurehead has gone off to measure his head. Wild. Didn't think that was possible. One day I'll return to your side. That's a hell of a thought. Definitely like the the French feel every. if Kuno was here. Kuno's still here. Wow. He watched the whole thing. Yep, he's going bang, bang. Everyone says you started crying in the middle of a firefight and then bled like a pig. I guess that was cool. Who's saying that? People, they say you'd kind of died for a moment, that you let your shit out already, but then came back. So I guess that's what's cool now. Gotta go calibrate the calipers. Yeah, I guess so. Don't think because you got half your dick shot off and you're an invalid now. Kuno's gonna treat you different. Kuno doesn't reward weakness. It's business as usual with Kuno. Kuno's cold like that. What? <laughs> pig. It's a dangerous world out there. But Kuno's got his eyes on you. What's that supposed to mean? Who knows? Starts doing the eyes of the eyes of you. Gesture repeatedly. Who knows? Indeed, who knows? Let's go to my brain cabinet. Arno Van Eck. Why did that tape work? Why did that tape work? Despite everything, you're still you. <sighs> but that's the thing. Despite everything, you are still you. But now people have a different view of who you are. What is that from, Mr. Chuck? Yeah, what was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? How's it? How am I going to get to the aisle? Ah, uh, yes, Undertale's going to be my next game I'm going to play. That's one that I'm quite excited about. I'm going to be playing all the Internet Darling games. Are you still sleeping? Agent Alcoholic is still there, breathing. The air in the room is stale. Like you're amphetamine, old man. Silence. Only heat emanate. <sighs> I mean, by the mechanics, of course he's going to be sleeping still. Do I even have any bullets left? Nope, I am out of... Oh, I got one bullet left. Not sure how that happened because I shot one bullet and then I handed my gun to my boyfriend. Really sure. If Undertale's going to be the next game, I don't know what's going to be after that. I guess I'll have to find something. I feel. Maybe I'll play a vampire game. That probably would be the best course of action. The skull.
But first, So I think, yeah, next time, maybe I'll play. Yeah, I'll play the band. A tribute to my friend, yeah, got me into that. Of course, the ridiculous part was the way he he was running it, but oh my god, the purple dot! We have my purple dot back. <laughs> Sewer drain. If you drive not my car, I can drive his car. You keep coming back. You find your hat. The book smells like economical, but also trendy. Look firsthand. Why? You find your hat. The book smells like economical. I need to put away that gun. No, won't need this. We'll put the flashlight on because it makes this guy angry. Between you and me, this is why I don't get involved in local politics. All this politics? In its purest form. Now, what can I do for you? I have other business. No, you just hang out there. You've done your good for the for the state. You did nuclear cleanup, for fuck's sake. Maybe I can find measure head and he can caliper my, my way over there. Measure my skull shape from left to right. Go to the island. Visit the isle. Be a boat. No, I'm not going to call that. The trap is full of locusts. Game's so beautiful. I have to thank Mr. Stenchman, who can't make it tonight. For really insisting I play this game. Yeah, if I would have encountered this game at like 17 or something, it would have completely changed my life. It's that good, it's that powerful, it's that. Would have been a better person, too. Instead of the pseudo right wing chud I was. But you know, you're, you're a guy. You're 17 years old. You think you're invulnerable. You think you. You are completely more capable than you really are. <laughs> then the government comes and preys on that. Tries to get you to join the military because your family's poor. No. Then, you know, some people, that's the only way they have out. Officer, what happened? You're limping. 
Why are you limping? You look terrible. I wish I... You're not limping. You're you. People hurt me. Is this from the shooting in town? We heard gunshots. Not that we don't hear gunshots all the time, but they were closer than usual. There was an exchange of fire on the Rue de Saint-Guilaine. It's nothing to be worried about, madame. You didn't only get shot. That was the second shot. I can also get not shot. Well, good for you. Question. Of course. I need I to get the... Something. Need to get to that. That won't be a problem. It's wind still and the tar just dried. We've got two days of relative sunshine ahead. What's on the island? It's also kind of ruined. Stupid hmm. Used to be some kind of fortification there before the war. For the communards. An anti-aircraft gun, I think. Bombed to bits in the landing. I haven't been there myself. Always steered clear of it. Hasn't been there herself. Who has then? Who's been there? My husband used to drink there. Him and his drinking buddies. Always seemed like a bad place to drink to me. People died there during the landing, you know. My mother told me. This must be one of the many fortifications that was used in the dying days of the revolution against coalition forces before they took this city. The kids sometimes go there too. I know they do, on rafts. I tell them not to, but they bring back old bullet casings and such. <laughs> the twins. God forbid they bring the girl along on some rickety barge. What's the two just playing the concrete yard? Can we maybe ask your twins about that place before we go? Would that be all right? Be my guest. They have a strange way of talking. See if you can get anything useful out of them. I seldom do. I think I should know what getting there. Well, most of it's sunken. Underwater. That means concrete underwater. Cut your boat if you're not careful. Be sure to enter from the south side. Water's deep there. Aye, aye, Captain. How are your boat? If you promise to bring it back. And no scraping the hull. I just got it nice and yellow. And no drinking on the boat. And no joyriding either. I haven't had a drink in seven days. Of course, ma'am. It's only for a day or two. Official police business. Aye. Not a lot. The crow's feet disappear from the corners of her eyes as she smiles at you. Thank you. You just give me a second. Please be conservative with the fuel, will you? Just filled her up, but it's a small tank. We sing you. Absolutely well. And Joyce is gone. I do one last little spin. Spend some points. What do I need to feel? Don't expect I'm going to need to be dealing with another shootout anytime soon. Our tenant, the policeman. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? I got shot. I, even I can see that. I told you not to bring your trouble with you, policeman. We've got troubles of our own here. Though I suppose you took the worst of it. Turns out you were your own ill omen. <laughs> I guess you're right. The men with guns are coming after me after all. I'm not sure those were the loss of the men with guns either. They are always more coming for your kind, officer. Then we'll be ready for them. Well, ready as we can manage. After all. Let's see what my drinking buddies think about me getting shot. I mean, if you can't talk to your bu drinking buddies while getting shot, what can you do? Man, you're like bleeding now. 
Reality has really messed you up. Yeah. Let's talk to the boy. The scruffy haired little boy kicks a stone while the other watches him do it. Okay, kids, you've been to the island, right? Um, that's I am. The one who's busy kicking a stone points to the bed. Yes. I need to know what's there. That's um nothing. It's just a seaboard and some plants. You can take a raft there. It's great. And and we make a fire. We make a we make a fire. Mm-hmm. Gather the sticks for the fire and bullets. Or oh, not real bullets. Empty bullets. Bullet shells. There are a lot of them left over from the war. What do you mean? This could be shell. important. I don't know what they are. There are lights. The fire guy comes and asks us to put the fire out. Your nerve endings sting from the mention of a guy. They must mean a human being on that island, but it's cut off. You mentioned something about lights. I... I don't know. Did you mean there are electrical lights? Um, yes. Why looks at his toe? Lives on the island? No. Oh, thinking his head being. Yes. Are there books that looks at him and then at you? Let's go with yes. Why is he the fire guy? Because, because. Wait, pause and think. Because he asks to put the fire out. Makes sense. Why is he asking you to put the fire out? Um, I don't know. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like people to be there. You shouldn't go. Yes. Is there anything else you could tell about this guy? A, does he live there? No, he doesn't live there. I don't think. No, he lives there. Been there twice, two times. Uh, he doesn't live there. He isn't there sometimes. First one pauses to think. I'm going to make him please. Anything else? What does this guy look like? I don't know. <laughs> Say it almost in unison. How come? We ran. He just yelled, we shouldn't be there. Your father used to go to that island too, didn't he? Our father killed himself. Oof. Don't say that, he didn't. Oh, his brother punches him. The boy's eyes well up like he's going to start crying. Father did not kill him. I don't know. The boy who made the claim finds himself on tape. Doesn't even have anything to do with this, you. Father isn't the fire guy. Other one wanted to. The two things are unconnected. Your question didn't make sense. Is that all you know? Is there anything else you could tell me about the island? There's a... The boy says rubbing his eyes. Clear as he has no intention of saying Lights. Fire guy. We should check up on that island. I guess take care of you. Nutty, nutty boys. Full of nutty, nutty things. Yeah, nothing makes you more square than, like, acknowledging reality. Someone's sending me messages. I'm so sorry. We're going to go away to a steam real quick. There's just a lot of things happening in the background. Life moves. Things keep shaking out. Even when you're not ready. 
moving pretty well for being shot through the legs. Got a nice little hustle on. Go talk to my friend. Good to see you. Goodbye, no. officer. No, no. Not gonna not gonna hurt their vibe. They're having fun. I come in there and ruin their day by talking about getting shot chunks shot out of me. They're gonna be out of here. An old door worn by elements. Guards the depot. It's military. The washer wa It may have been used from here to the wall. Okay. Uh, let's go hit it. Let's hit it. Nothing else really to do. Let's go to the island. I am feeling determined. And I am not Putra Madre's clone. I feel like I'm wearing like those Hulk gloves. Go to the church and then travel from the church to the beach. See if I can fit. Yeah, I was right. Anytime I turn off fast travel is a bad sign. A skiff with a small steering engine in the back floats on the calm mirror of the sea. Its two seats are empty. The boat's belly is a shiny yellow color. Industrial paint over fresh tar. You see it reflect off the water, along with the factory number, A72. Hey, Cap. Hope you got something good to eat. Once you get in, that's it. One pull of the starter handle, and you're off into the bay. A strange trepidation comes over you. Are you sure you want to go now? Yeah. Have you made all the necessary preparations? Closed all your accounts? Remember what the net picker said. It's a small tank. You won't be going back and forth on this. It didn't rise yet. Actually. What we're gonna do, I'm not ready yet. In case I miss something. The skiff float once you get have you made remember what the net picker said. It in, he rides it's <sighs> I needed this. I needed this stream. Feeling more calm. I kinda lost it earlier.
The boat comes to a slow stop. The lieutenant turns the engine off. Then, there's silence. <laughs> that ridiculous pose. In the silence, a sputter of wings. A flock of quails takes off in a distance. Let's go. Go to the end. Make sure. Press the chain trails off. The chain trails off into the ocean, connecting the island to the supply depot on the coast. At least the depot in land then. Ah, yes. So it seems. What do you think it was useful? For bringing munitions to the island, maybe? And supplies? You could also lock the bay when you raise the chain. Absolutely. As a defensive measure, lock it off that side of the bay. Landing ship, I imagine, locked off. From enemies. Enemies of the commune of Revachol. This sea fort was a revolutionary fortification, I believe. Finish this off. Nice long, nice short dude around. There's a falling part. He's dead. Can't move over here, can't move over there. Shouldn't be running. Bury your leg. Your leg, Harry. Take it nice and easy. Attention. Loud. Some fuel's leaked out. Linger and chase a mezzet here. Black. Dry grass crackles under your feet as you stop. Far away, birds' wings touch the still surface of the sea. <laughs> the flock of quail departs. Now more than a hundred meters away. A hundred and two. A hundred and five. Underneath the water. On the islet, there is almost no wind. Just the light movement of air through the reeds. Bulrushes swaying on the waterline. Long dried leaves chafing against each other. Yes, the sadness. You missed the sad part. Like a silent orchestra tuning at the beginning of some major work. Thanks again for suggesting this. This, like I was saying, if I would have encountered this in 17, I would have you know, changed my life. Okay. To the west. A silent hiss. Sea air moving through the needles of a pine tree. East. The faraway roar of the city, distant like today's dream. Before it, the sound of sand. The low tide filtered through its grains. A bird tending to its feathers. Ahead. A low hum. The air slowly moves through a concrete box, through its ancient slits and cracks, resonating, hollow. A big building. Beyond that, further north. Air flows out of a pillbox window. There is very little there. The air cossets flowers on a meadow. Absolute silence. Reeds motionless. Bulrushes motionless. Below the fire. A jitter. A sound impatient to happen, but not yet in this world. You hear some kind of limb fidget, producing an imperceptible tick. No, it's just your imagination. You can't hear such things. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes? Momentarily, the sounds are swept away. Pain shoots up your right foot and into your groin. Really fucking silent. It is. Is that why we are stopping? Wait, I'm gonna listen to one more. The lieutenant nods. A jitter. You hear some kind yeah. No. It's just your Open imagination. Your Stop. I see him. Just start off with the white. Hey, man. Thanks for making it. Check this little birch. A coin operated view. No way you got Harry. But. 
but I see him. This feels familiar somehow. The Spec Stars too. No, that's the uninhabited archipelago. We don't need to worry about being late. I'm just glad you made it. Oh, trying to rapidly remove? Yeah, nothing's more stressful than moving. I mean, there's a few things more stressful, but it's one of the big ones. A DeLorean era symbol of Insulinda, known as the face in the sea. Hmm. Hey, white star. No, an upside down star. Oh, there it is. A staghorn star. With its horns in the sky. The symbol of the commune. What is the ICM? Insul Indian Citizens Militia. It's the official name of the communal army. The black and white army of the revolution. Sounds an awful lot like. The RCM. It does. Why? The RCM may descend from the ICM. We don't like to acknowledge it. May. It's impossible to say. It was chaos after the war. The name was good for getting people to join us. Revash always was mostly workers and criminals. Nice political thoughts rush through your neocortex. It's going to be hard to say them. Carrying around all that weight on a busted crutch is making you pant. I'm hearing we spent the glorious revolutionary arm. There were all sorts of groups and groupuscule back then. Groupuscule. Really matter. He bows to inspect the barrel. Looks old. Why is it still here? After 44 years? That's not nearly enough to hide what happened here, Lieutenant Yefreto. Oh, that'd be nice. Nice Sunday off to chill. One of these barrels was still leaking fuel, as you saw. The city is full of things like this. Old bullets, guns, fuel. And old people. Take it nice and easy. Let's take a look here. Careful, stay relaxed. I don't care. What is this? Kind of a piano radar system? Maybe. Books, mostly fantastique. And there's a frying pan. This this is stained with sauce and fire. Fiber. Candles painted, planted on a broken range. There's a greasy old spring mattress in the corner, resting on piles of soft cover books. White linen and a pillow are visible under a worn-out caracal blanket. Someone has been squatting here. The linen is fresh, recently washed. Oh. A flash of pain interrupts you, making you wince instead of letting the words out. You know, officer, you can rest here if you are feeling tired. I will keep watch. You could use some rest for what's ahead. It's time to yes, rest now. Anytime. If you need a rest later, it's okay by me. You don't have to be a hero. Yes, I do. An old cylindrical generator is nested above the ammo lift with makeshift electrical wiring running out of its side and across the floor. The cables disappear into the wall to your right. The lieutenant puts his hand on the metal barrel, checking for warmth. It's cold now. But someone has been maintaining it. The wiring has been repaired. Or fuel. The lieutenant assists you, holding the canister up to the fuel tank as you tilt. Dark brown, viscous fluid pours out, and the room fills with a chemical smell. There's a red starter switch on the side of the cylinder and a start rope on the other side. The lieutenant flicks the switch. The recoil start wakes the old generator up. The machine sputters like an old war horse before settling down to a rattle. That should do it. Downstairs, somewhere. The tank is far from full, but there should be enough inside to keep it going for a day. And 
magazines lie scattered on the floor and on a makeshift cupboard. They are not particularly well organized. <laughs> Most are soft covers, serialized fantastique and detective stories from the 20s and 30s. This disparate digest includes the classic animal adventures, popular depictions of man versus nature. Oh God. Amateur naturalist T and T Harpin, husband and wife. Widely read by people from all walks of life. Who doesn't like nature? Who doesn't want to survive among what is mostly commercial fiction and serialized stories? You find a magazine cathodique for electrical engineering. Then it's back to pulp. Light erotica, an international thriller about circuit benders. Light erotica? Eh, it's something a little stiffer. Someone's made themselves a home. Stand up. Oh yes, Ooh, under wow. the bed, there is a rather extensive collection of critical theory, that is, dour, life non-affirming left-wing literature, published by small imprints such as Abattoir Firm and Uzia. It's not exactly light reading. Look, powerful communist theory. Rigorous. Uzia. I agree. Humanitarian sciences. It stands out. Not a lot of critical theory around in Ravachol West. Your incendiary remark has failed to provoke him. <laughs> Wasn't there some in the communist students' room? Student in the apartment building seemed to have some as well. Well, yes. That one student did. The little books seem inconsequential next to the big pile of frivolous entertainment covering them. Real theory books. Read the scene. Whoever has lived here, they have some education. And a certain set of interests. Yeah, I wouldn't want to sleep there either, Cat. You're right. Interesting. I didn't catch that. Think about that. Let's think about that. Honor Van Eyck. Okay, so Egghead is clearly not Van Eyck in disguise. Van Eyck is an Oranese disc jockey. But those people get around. Especially in Revachol, in the clubs on Boogie Street. Perhaps he stayed here for a short stint and discarded part of the song he was working on. Just threw it away. And then it ended up in the Orthorn tree. But why? Did he think it was retrograde? It wasn't. Perhaps he caught a glimpse of the future and did not want for it to arrive just yet. Perhaps the city whispered the top line to him and he was frightened by it. Deals are at a gig post. What? What's that? Lost it in sheep. Empathy scarf. And a shirt of some kind. And eye coordination. Lots of communist stuff here. I'm one of my brothers. What is this? Serious thing. I think I can't click on it. Great glass door with way over 10 tons. Rust peels off of it. You see a small metal door nested inside a larger one. A heavy steel blast door. There is a conventional keyhole above the handle. It's very small. Hunter, we've got a good idea. I'll try that in a second. And the others. Another part of the island, probably. The lock looks like it could still be usable. So we open them. Maybe this is one of the doors we don't open? He looks at the door, his bigger brother. He's right. It would be better to open its big brother. A powerful engine hangs under the ceiling. It must control the blast door. You're right. Let's open the big one. The controls anywhere? I think there's a console just southeast. Let's look around. Getting the blast door open seems like the best plan. I really don't think I need to rest. Okay, let's see what this does. 
We have this quick done stuff. Run around. Ah, we can go underneath. There we go. That. That. That's just jamming the shit out of me. Let's take a look at this. Fire display. Can't see it. Can't see it. Let's take a direct hit and take out such a huge chunk. This is the sound of cargo ship. Signal form. Back on the water. <laughs> Good day, comrade. I would have said hello sooner, but I was sucked in by empathy. Good day to you, my communist brother. Hope you're doing well. Mr. Jace here is a fine, fine comrade. Oh. Eat, eat. Restray strange. I'm gonna get that flash door open. I don't see anything wild here. This green did. Run with it. Thanks for stopping by, Jace. It means a lot. Paying your pelvis makes you win. Continue. Inside of the fortress, make up the console. Here we go, another bed. There's a rain-soaked mattress on a concrete slab, only half covered by the crumbling roof. At the head of it, Double embrasures, firing slits like two eyes in the wall. Oh, this game is fantastic. It is. And right up your alley. B triple prime. This looks like a good place to shoot from. Inspect the map. A single person mattress, modern, civilian use. Brand name, Marjorie. There's a fuel stain on the cover, along with cigarette burns. And an empty can of beans on the ground next to it, filled to the brim with cigarette butts. Take one out. The silhouette of a tobacco picker adorns the paper filter. The brand, Tio Moteri. Contemporary Rivercholians prefer Druan, a local blend from the southern islands, or Astra, the legendary cigarette from Grad. Tio Moteri is favored by older men for its paper filter tips, sweet smell, and added tar. Added tar. <sighs> the material, like the ones we found at Land's End. I may have been wrong when I said it wasn't important. This means the same person could have visited both locations. I didn't see any signs of smoking inside, though. If people live there, they keep it tidy. This here may also be a smoking spot. Might be. I'm, I'm thinking it's a smoking spot. Back the wall. There's a firing slit in the wall in front of you, like a little window. The Quite old and grimy from years without cleaning by anything other than the rain. Take the hole in the ground. The springs screech as you lean on the mattress and crane your neck to look out. Trepidation. A tingling feeling in your stomach. A small piece of Martinez coastline opens up in the oh, square man. in front of you. Like a tiny landscape painting. One kilometer across the water. The ruins look familiar. A towering skyscraper, its top floors shaved off by artillery fire, capeside apartments, Rue de Saint Gislaine, 33A and 33B. On the right will be the landing point. The red chimney and collapsed back of the four story tenement in front of the whirling in rags, Rue de Saint Gislaine, 10, the doomed commercial area. Between the two. 
the box-shaped silhouette of the whirling in rags. Its sloped roof, a tiny fleck of light catches your eye on the rooftop, sunlight reflecting off the upstairs window of Clasia's room. Mother. Fuck. What does that mean? Do you have line of sight to the window? More than that. Him pair binoculars. I'd be able to see inside of his A pair of binoculars or a scope of a rifle? You'd be prone, lying on a mattress, barrel resting on the embrasure. Cheek against the cheek rest, hand on the hair trigger, on a calm day like this. I could make it, dude. I could make the shot. Good. I think we have a detective. The origin of the shot. This is the sniper's nest. Yes, this game's available on most systems. I'm not sure what systems you have, Jace. Hit me up. I'll tell you what, where to get it. This is a sniper. Affirmative. In our defense, nothing pointed here. Many, many leads pointed elsewhere. You're right. He looks north over the fortification, then at the mattress. Then again, his face twitches. Uh huh. The shooter's still here. Where? On this island. He does not answer just nods with his back hunched he looks around once more and says we should move now weathered map weathered artillery map showing cornice the day road so old medicine cap newly stuck with the problem ooh look at that a can of gas feel can Go back inside. Have a little, little, little search. Oh, feel eyes on your back. Someone's watching. Can't say where. Oh, another level. Oh, what can I use? What can I use? Pain threshold. Been shot in hamburger bits. Use some help. With Pain. Okay. Let me feel. Water rushes below. Far down. Oh. I'm glad I went underneath there. I wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have done it otherwise. Touch that, please. Ah, uh, so what's your armament for us? What you want is downstairs. I go through that door. Double click that. No, I think it's the door I came in. So I'm going to have to go hit that switch. Oh. Twin cannons were attached here. Medium distance. Large power. Yeah, that's where I came in. So let's go. Go down here, let's go hit that switch. Coming up at 11 o'clock here. Green paint flicks off the monoblock aluminium cabinet. There are rows of switches on the front panel, a frequency band, and even a keyboard. On your fingerprint. The keys rattle like teeth. This keyboard hasn't been functional in decades. What is this thing? The console of an antique computation device. The generator upstairs with wires coming out. They terminate here. Just open the blast door? I think, yes. Let's see. That one. The emergency open. Find the radio. The dial slides under the glass, dark and silent. Restoring electric power has not breathed life into it. Emergency. The blast door opens with a series of clicks. A shaft of light appears, then widens as the light shines in. Yep, life had been. We all have to deal with. Good luck, my friend. But believe me. Yeah, no, actually, you don't need to believe me. But yeah. Life had been, or the alternative is I'll take life had been. After you. 
We're walking around in the sand. I felt someone watch us. So did I. Not back there, but I felt it since we came here. Let's go get another fight. Don't worry. I have a gun. He takes a stab, checks the barrel, and looks. Yes. And these cops, Mr. Bates, are citizens and militia. Let's go. I have a gun, but I'm not using it. I'm tired. Man. My wife blossom, flowers blossom all around. What's this? Rubber dinghy. Blade like broken. Hey, I see a person. Holy crap. Where he put out the fire. They were so sweet. Scary. And scary somehow. An old man wearing tracksuit trousers leans on the frame stock of his rifle. He gathers a big ball of spit in his mouth, then spits it out into the extinguished fire before him. He raises his black eyes, hooded by creased eyelids to meteors, unclouded by cataracts. His eyesight is sharp. Fire guy? You what now? I can't hear you. You do actually tell two kids to put out their fire? Two twins? I may have. All sorts of little rats have come sniffing around, trying to give up the position. The position? Sounds like a hiding place. Fire guy. Regressive bourgeoisie henchman. Can't even talk like a grown-up. We change your eyesight. My eyesight? Yes. Helps me see all the shit. Close the blast door? I did. And you opened it. How? Feel the generator. You use the console. I should have burned that console down. How do you know it's The boat engine. On the water. Got a gun you got. It's not nice. It's a piece of shit. But it gets the job done. The Belma Grave, isn't it? It's a Triangong 446. Southeast Samarin made. Exotic. Must be defunct too. No modern rifle manufacturer of that name springs to mind. A Samarin rifle? How did you get hold of one? It was sent to us by our brothers in the Sinyao commune. Military aid. He passed the rifle. It has stayed true to him. He can still make it sing. The foul commune? You heard me. It's good now. Like chalk wiped from the board. His gaze grew. We need to put the gun out so we're not alone. We're here with the boy. The lieutenant pulls his pistol from. No, 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 chill. Night Watchman. This is a service rifle. I can only lay it down before an enemy commander of corresponding rank. His elbows rest on the frame stock, calmly for now. But he may still get it in his hands. Looks like he knows the weapon. You don't see a magazine in the well. Keep the gun down while we're talk while we talk. No. Come on. Put it down now, sir. Or you're gonna blow my brains out before you question me. To hell with it. It's a walking stick anyway. It's out of bullets. And plant lays a rifle down. Careless. He steers on. His wrinkled mouth moving without a sound. A strange sadness, like a song. What did you say? The future teaches you to be alone. Oh, ow! 
Oof. The present. The present. The present to be afraid and cold. His words. Real music. It's La Reva Cholière, you shit-licking bougie dog. Chanson de soldat of the black and whites. That's the level of Cholière. It is the anthem of the world revolution. One of three. His eyes remain fixed on the sky. In Grad, they sang brave children, favorites of history. And in Sin Yao, it was... Some Samaran shit, I guess. He struggles to remember. I've heard of that name somewhere else. In the name. Everyone has. They named a fucking perfume after it. No, that's not it. I talked to her. Talk to her. He raises his brushy brow down. Yes, I get these. It's the drugs you're all on. Druggies, whiners, and whores. Close his eyes to the dust. How does it go? Oh. How did it go? He looks at his gun on the ground. Something about shooting rabbits. I don't know. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. It's gone now. He waves erratically with his hand, annoyed that he can't remember. A little tremor passes through him. What have you been using this gun for? No reply. His leg twitches. You went in too fast. Over eager. He sounds like he hasn't gotten to speak to another human being in a long time. Especially about politics. That's what you should do first. Who are you? My name. Is Josef Lilianovich Dross, political commissar of the 114th Anti Aircraft Division of the 4th Army of the Commune of Revachol. I am a deserter, a partisan, and a prisoner of war. This is my termless surrender. His eyes turn to the reeds again. The commune of Revachol? Do you mean the ICM? Your uh, holdover from the... Lieutenant gets the cloak. From the Insul Indian Citizens Militia. The Army of the Revolution. I was recruited in Jamrock in 07. Trained in the Ecole de Control Orion. And consigned to emergency defense duties in 08. I left my unit on the eve of the landing. When I returned here on May 14th, the commune had fallen. Still armed and ideologically trained, I wrote a criticism of myself and resumed partisan duties. Brain started. 51 minus 8 equals 43. You've been on this island for 43 years. No. I've been on other islands, too. He looks in the fire, with the smoke rises from somewhere between the char and the wall. I was in a resurrection until they turned it into a spa in 18. Then I was an E-48, a nameless sound, until the sea washed over it. And then I came back here. That was 22 years ago. Hiding here for 43 years? 43 years and 10 months. Steadfast. It's not how a human being should live. <laughs> but I had to. I couldn't just forget. I couldn't just forget what I saw. What have you been doing during all this time? Hiding, fishing, waiting. Looks across the water. Two police officers step out of the Whirling in Rags cafeteria. Satellite officer Jean Vicmer inspects a series of burnt black letters splashed across the plaza mosaic. Patrol officer Judith Minot points west. The fishing village. She glances at her watch. 
We meet in 15 minutes. It's a 10 minute walk. The officers go, leaving behind the writing, still smoldering. One day, it says, I will return to your side. Always waiting. The old man turns his eyes to the shore. Waiting for what? For her to return. Her who? Girl child revolution. Always. Better come. A waste. The material base for an uprising has eroded. The working class has betrayed mankind and themselves. The historic opportunity for a revolution has passed. It will not come back anymore. However hard I try, whatever I do. You said you deserted your duty. I was just 16 years old. 15 when I volunteered. I had a lapse of faith. <clears throat> and of courage. You were too. a child. Understood. Well done. I won't explain it to a minion of capital. What is this place? It's not an island, Dwat. It's a defensive fortification of the commune of Revachol. <sighs> and I am its last surviving defender. Was it you? The congenitally deformed King Philip II built it to restrict access to the Bay of Revachol. We captured it in 02, retrofitted the fort with an AA gun to defend against an airborne landing against the whole world. You mean the landing? Retaking? Coalition military called it Operation Deathblow. I later found out on the radio they called it he went. Deathblow. You are one of them. Tell me, who speaks like that? We had 50 million people on Caillou alone. Murder. I know what you mean. You don't know. You haven't seen it. Iblis. The black-eyed angel. How do you survive on this? How does anyone survive? I steal. Looks on his corner. Do you steal? Supplies. Vegetables. I collect rainwater. It's the life of a dog, not a human being. Pass one's form. How is your health, Mr. Dross? I've been throwing up blood since winter. Red, like beetroot. Oh. Been passing it in stool, too. He does seem frail. Good for his age. More like 75 than 65. Trouble putting on weight could mean cancer. TRCM can provide medical services. You need to be looked over. I need to die. You don't have medical facilities. You have guns. That's all they give you. Toy guns. Yeah, draw me another tank. Let's campaign. I have been running out of that stuff. I'll be cope, man. I haven't. I have holes in my brain, years missing, others filled with pain only, a decade of... God! His eyes were dull. I don't even know what. Inferno? He noticed the lieutenant is about to say. I would imagine it gets tremendously difficult mentally to live in isolation. Traitors. It's better alone. I watch the people of this city turn the lights back on. More and more each year. Ruins glimmering in the dark like a fucking merry-go-round. These people, I mean, that's the thing, like, you know, people who sacrifice so much for the sake of humanity. And then the end doesn't come, and the world soldiers on. And you wonder. It's disgusting. Looks down at his shoes. Harsh from the sun, the winds of pain. You concealed yourself all these years. It was hard in the Thames. I didn't have partisan training. They were searching for stragglers, those 
bloodhounds. Floodlights on the water at night. There were posters, campaigns. We communards still hoped, and they needed to snuff that hope out. The East capitulated. Martinez and Cold City were turned to dust. But Jamrock, Forberg, even Coron, and Boogie Street, of course. Those fucking kips had Marsoff coursing through their veins. Ah, the way the people attack these fictional uh, slurs, the way they just bite into them, it really tells. And others, too. Some cordons of Revachaw was still fighting. There were cells. I tried to contact them. Soon they all went silent. The frequencies dead. How'd you get between here and the mainland? At night, I used a dinghy. I only went after dark then. When I got to the city, I stayed underground. Patrols, you lot, the commons too. They'd started snitching. In the city, you move underground? From bunker to bunker. Not anymore. No one cares now. I don't even have to hide. They think I'm another antisocial vagrant. I could walk straight into that town if I wanted. I just... It's all silent. His gaze fixed in the shack slowly becoming comfortable. Why don't you just walk? I don't want to. They're all traitors. Pigs, rabbits, and dogs. Men without ideals are only animals. You sacrificed your life. Of the cash that sent it to Sven. So you finally found it. There must have been a small squadron's worth of arms in there. Elmer Graves, right? There are damage beyond you. I know. So you've been there? Sleeping. <laughs> Some nights. Ammo scrounging on others. Those McGraves were shit, even before they corroded. Some had bullets in the chamber, however. You feel the dots connecting. Little dots on the map he's walked across. A small bunker under Fell Hill. It's a propaganda bunker. <laughs> I used to, but not anymore. Propaganda bunker? They stored leaflets there. Broadcasting equipment, too. Made broadcasts, I think. Propaganda officers. I buried them with their leaflets. They killed themselves. Oh. Two young boys. Killed themselves? And a lot of our boys did. I spent some winters there. Never liked it. Kept thinking of them. No need to go underground anymore. It's better in the ruins on the ground. There's the ruins itself. You smoke cinematory cigarettes? I do. <laughs> smoke them on the man land, mainland? They're good. Plenty of tar. I like that boy on the pack, too. Reminds me of the last century. Tell me another thing. The old man looks across the water at the city, the ruins, the motorways rising above it. <sighs> Did this turn with you? You're with the RCM, the coalition appointed mob that enforces bourgeois morals in Revachol. <sighs> Not coalition approved. We try to help people. You're the RCM. You represent the Moralist International, the enemies of humanity who took this city. I represent their adversary, Le Parti Communiste dans ce monde. Take me to them as a prisoner of war. I have relinquished my weapon. I can no longer serve. No superiors can relieve me of my duty. You bulldoze them all to a mass grave for trying to free humanity. <coughs> His hand shakes and he breaks into a coughing fit. A spray of blood from his mouth oh. on the black charcoal. Oh, blood. God. Rene, the royalist on the coast, said. Never sign the river. Instrument. Liberal reactionaries signed that instrument. Traitors who should have been burned alive. I answer to the Communist Party. Is that part of why you've been here all this time? Because the party didn't surrender? He just wipes the blood from his chin. I don't think you did. 
You live in a delusion. Radio shows, speed racing, and sporting goods. It's not real. I know. I understand. You're a communist soldier. No, I am not a soldier. I am an ideological officer. I belong to the party, not the army. Understood. Like you belong to the moralist party. He squints his eyes. There's nothing serious in this world. It's a farce. One more time. Will you use the gun? What have I used it for? I've used it for killing people. Killing people? It's a gun. That's what they're for. You want a moralist euphemism? Defending your family and your property. I haven't done that. I've used it to kill people. Interesting. During or after the war? There is no after the war. Class war is never over. He shakes his head and smiles. He throbs black. So he's continued killing after hostilities ended. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. This is it. You can feel it. Like battery acid on the tip of your tongue. Something you haven't felt in a while. But... This is what you live for. This is the shit. The great serotonin jackpot. The solution. Go in straight. No euphemisms. He doesn't like those. No, no. Be careful now. Slow and steady does it. Make him repeat it first. Saying you killed people after the fight. What did I just say? He keeps shaking his head, brushes something out of his What mind. did I just tell you? Don't drop the ball now. Did you use the gun to shoot and kill a colonel of a security track contract? General. The who now? He leans in a cup. He heard you. He just wants to hear you say it again. This is dramatic flair on his part. Right choice. We're in. Do it, sire. The fascist death squad had took a bullet in the mouth on the night of March 4th. Oh, yes. That one. Ugly piece of work, that boy. He looks at the sky and clacks his tongue. Did you kill him? I couldn't take a sudden step towards him. Nope. Back off. I am a son of a welder and an officer of the commune of Revachol. I do not collaborate with murderers and pederasts of the liberal regime. A drop of blood in the saliva. There's a big one at Lieutenant's feet. Exhaust him with proof. Pile it all on him. Get a confession. The scent of blood in the air. But what else? There was something you can't remember. Something about the tracks. Suddenly, all those tracks are so confusing. Go with something else first. Done the bliss. Oh, hi, kitten. I'm gonna get in my lap. Come on. This is the boy. He is a sweet boy. Done the bliss. Thought came from the silence. I saw you poking around there, looking for evidence. You're damn diligent when it comes to dead fascies. Did you like the view? You had direct visibility. There are embrasures in the concrete, specifically meant for a top follower to use. And you had a long range rifle in your possession. Yes, stop. You have been here a long time, Mr. Dras. Too long. You clearly need medical aid. I'm ready to die. <coughs> I've done my part. Men are up. He's practically admitted to it. Dead fascists for fascists done his part. Just one thing remains unclear. The rifle does not seem to have a scope. He was perfect. A pair of binoculars I could have seen into them. Because it's a sniper's nest, you stupid fuck. Radio Gosh is right. You have worms in your brain. I saw you. You had direct visit. You've uh, been here. I'm ready. He's practically just one thing remains unclear. Said the rifle. Hey, you killed. 
You're sad for your fascia brother, aren't you? One twig got broken. Now the others are sad. Wait. I'm forgetting. Wait, here it comes. The goddamn Maybells. The dried Maybells on Clasia's roof. Oh, yeah. There were Maybells in the grass when you got here. And Maybells on Clasia's balcony. And nowhere else. Nowhere in all of Martinez have you seen them. Wait, don't forget the footprints. The diagonal prints in the dust in the secret space behind Classia's bedroom. Now, they're gonna come up. Of course. Thank you, Hashtag. You got it. Remember, the boot prints were like no modern soul. Nothing else comes up. You see the lieutenant watch you. Try to stimulate thought processes <laughs> by hitting yourself. Officer. A word? Because no, I'm almost there. No, do this one. I think we may have these. That is what's that's what the plan. Okay. What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? Something I need here. From nothing to this in a day. This is good, Lieutenant Freighter. We just need a confession first, and then maybe a solid motive later. What am I missing? What haven't I done? Well, I can't think of one thing. The gun. We should pick it up and discuss it in front of him. Make a show of it. Yes, sire. Make a production of this examination. Remember, he wants to tell us, but he doesn't want to help us. It needs to look like we already have everything. Minions of capital. What do you want? His gaze follows your motions. The rifle feels surprisingly light in your hand. Frame stopped and patched in places with tape and wire. You know what? I hate to end on white. The. Ooh. Quite the cliffhanger, but I think this is. I think I might call it. Come back, possibly finish this off next session. It's been a dark week. It's been a hard week. Everybody, please have a good week. A wonderful weekend. Say that you love those that you love around you. And remember that so many things, life is a marathon. Herculean efforts in the short term are possible longer marathon. Chase, I'm damn proud of you. I'm proud of you with your sobriety. Even if you stumble with it, I'm still proud of you. Those who else who struggle with it, including myself, everybody. Everybody has. Run the marathon. Be good. Make good decisions. Night, comrades.